What's going on? It's your boy Keep Pushing Kicks, and I'm here with the Jumper Man Chris. Man, it's good. Thank you for having me in your nice home and show me this collection, man. Yeah, man. I appreciate you coming through, y'all. Man, uh, it's been a while since Jumper Man Chris been out this way. Uh, as you guys probably already know, we are going to be attending the Sneaker Culture Sneaker Convention in Crown Point, Indiana, tomorrow. Uh, so really quick, I wanted to get Chris out here showing my collection. I put a poll out to you guys recently asking you if you would be interested in seeing my collection. And uh, it was a resounding yes. I think I had like over 100 votes on that saying yes. So I'm going to give it to you, but we're going to give it to you a little bit different. And I definitely wanted an expert, an OG in the game to come through and kind of <laughs> rate my collection a little bit. I know he probably has 95% of what I have. There's some I saw I don't have. You definitely do have some really good heat out here. Yeah. There's some questions about some of the collection you got here. Like, for instance... What do you, what do you mean questions? You like, mean? just some questions. That's all I'm just saying. Just some questions. Not like questions like that. Like, hey, what do you think? You know, just like a discussion between some of these shoes. Chris is saying, he's saying my stuff is fake. I did not, not say not Yeah, man. You guys go ahead. Make sure you hit that like button for me. Leave a comment down below what you guys think of my collection. And uh, yeah, man, we're going to kick it with Chris for a little bit. Let's see what he thinks. First, I just kind of want to start off with, we're going to start with some heavy hitters here. Yeah. The Orchid. What did you say? Oak. Yep. Orchid. Orchid. Okra. Yeah, that's what I said. That's exactly what I said. So now, I don't have this in my collection. These came in a three pack, I believe, was the green. What? Four. Green, blue, yellow, red. Red, track red. Yes, and it was like a regional exclusive too. Yeah. So what is what? Which one was this one? This was was the Europe, I believe. The Europe. Oh, exclusive. so you had to connect in Europe. Cool. I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> so I paid resale for these. Uh, I actually take. I took some Yeezys, uh, resold Yeezys on Goat. Saved up those Goat credits to go towards this shoe right here. I believe it cost around five hundred dollars. And, and um, yeah, man, I love this pack. The quality of the suede on the yes. back. Uh, the insole, you guys can't see it you're too far back, but it definitely has the Royal Flush on the inside uh, with the best hand in the game pack as, you know, just the theme of it. I'll give you guys some B-roll if that's too dark. Yeah. The quality on this was great. The leather on there actually glitters. If you don't wipe it down enough, it glitters up, which it, I actually like it. It lets me know that the shoe is authentic, really. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, man. I do have, I have the blue ones, the blue, blue ones. ones. I think it does have the cards too inside. I can't remember, but I remember I sold them for two fifty. Two fifty. That was back before the resale was crazy, and I, I rebought them for five hundred. So. I was gonna say I think the blue <laughs> moons are going for like five hundred now. This one is another fire freaking shoe. One I see you. Favorites. Holy crap! You wore these quite a bit actually. A lot. Hey, wear your shoe, guys. <laughs> yeah, this is the LA Chicago is probably one of the better. The original ones that come out this year yes, or that sir. that year man i love these right here this shoe i was able to hit from uh no trade which is a sneaker boutique out here in chicago so yeah for retail for retail amazing amazing raffle hit on those man i was shocked because i took l's all throughout uh the flex app well before it was flex app it was just foot locker foot locker champs and everything like that actually it was foot action foot action state street was the main thing yeah, you remember foot action yes. was the big boy so yeah i took l's on all of that but this right here no tray came through in the clutch and I was so excited to have this pair and I'm gonna leave the color on you know you can wipe this color off and you reveal the Chicago colorway that's why I guess the, the LA colors you wipe it off and it has the uh, Chicago colorway on there. I'm gonna keep it like this I'm gonna keep it like this I'm gonna just wear it down and we'll see what happens and another one I just remember I just had a remember these things were bricks when these first came out yeah, bro. These things they, were sat, bricks. they sat through they the sat. pandemic man and uh, the Air Jordan 1 Bloodlines, man, they didn't get a lot of, you know, good, you know, publicity. But these things sat through the pandemic so much that I was able to pick these things up. So from what GTL. you got for? Yes. <laughs> for freaking 130. That's a steal. 130. I picked these up for 130 after the pandemic. Everything was on lockdown. So these things were sitting on the shelf, literally collecting dust. Jeez. Came back. They put them on sale. I picked them up and uh, now they're like a $300 shoe. I mean, I picked them up too. I actually like these. I didn't keep them, but it's crazy how much these things went up, man. Definitely. And 
Now this one, I call this the poor man's Union ones, but I still think it's a fire shoe. Yeah. Um, you know, it, I'd still like the hints of the gray, the red. I even switched the Union laces with these. But okay. Yeah, I still like it. Oh, you wore these too quite a bit. Yeah, well, actually, I think I wore these for the first time during SneakerCon uh, Dallas. The Air Jordan 1 Smoke Grays, I actually was able to hit on these for retail when I went to Florida for the very first time to visit Kicks For Your Soul Joe and Tops. Uh, they took me to Florida Mall, went in there to a shoe palace. We don't even have shoe palaces out here, I don't believe. Uh, entered into a raffle. Um, they called me, hit for my size 13 for retail. Went and picked it up, man. I was very, very excited to get that phone call. So you're taking pairs from Duval States. Oh yeah, they, they, <laughs> they mine. Let's just go ahead, let's bust two of these out here because it's oh, yeah. probably the biggest problems of 2021. Yeah, y'all Y'all seen these enough, man. Yeah, I know. Hyper Royal ones and the UNC ones, man. It's uh, crazy, I'm hearing they're, they're still restocking. Are they still restocking on these? That's right. I heard some stores was getting them. I don't like some hibbits, some finish lines. Okay. Like small amounts. You know, of course, Possibly. obviously, yeah. you're, you're not going to get them. <laughs> I was able to hit this for retail from finish line out here by me. And I was able to hit this for retail on a sneakers pass nice. at uh, Nike Chicago, man. So nice. uh, two, two good W's of the year. 100%. What do you think? Shoe of the year? Which one's mm. better? I still want to see the rest of the year. I believe that this will, uh, this shoe is better in my opinion. I agree. Let's go with probably one of the best Air Jordan ones that come out in the past three years in my opinion. Past you know? three years, man. The quality on this quality. thing I is I miss fire. Jordans with tumble leather, man. Yeah, the Air Jordan 1 Obsidians, man. This shoe, uh, did I did very well on this shoe. When it came to the resale, I had multiple pairs. I think I cooked on like five pairs. Yeah, I, bro, I think I had even more than that. <laughs> yeah, I had a lot. Yeah, this shoe has been going crazy on TikTok. Yeah, I TikTok still haven't, favorite. I still haven't even worn these yet, man. They're still DS. I'm really curious where that shoe tree went. <laughs> I saw some different ones. Oh yeah, this one. This is the story. I saw this kind of looking at first. I was kind of like, are these unions? And then I yeah. saw it. I'm like, now this is something different. I'm guess this has to be a custom. That, that sure. is a custom, okay, man. Custom All right, things. so. So shout out, I'm not sure if he's still customizing shoes, man, but shout out to Eric from Soul Salvation Customs. Uh, this shoe right here used to be the Air Jordan 1 noise canceling. It was a collab with Nigel Sylvester. Uh, the shoe was all white. I sent it to Eric and told him to make these exactly like the House of Heat uh, mock-up of the Air Jordan 1 rafters. Now the Air Jordan 1 rafters, the story behind that, is uh, Michael Jordan's number, the 23, uh, was retired uh, by the Miami Heat. Jordan never played for the Miami Heat, but his number was retired with Miami Heat out of respect. So uh, the House of Heat comprised a mock-up of a shoe and gave it that maroon colorway from Miami, black, and the hints of gold on that uh, extended leather. And uh, yeah, man, I think he did an amazing did job. job. I still haven't worn these things yet. I'm not sure if I'll ever put them on the ground. I just I just like them, man. They might go like in a case somewhere just as a conversation piece. And of course, I remember these things. I know a lot of people didn't like these and I pulled these out because it's you did a little something different with these. I did a little something with these as well, man. So when I sent these off to Eric at Soul Salvation Customs, I sent these off as well. The Air Jordan 1 Shatter Backboard 3.0s. But I told him, I said, yo, Eric. Take all of that Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Uh, take all of that off of there, man. I don't like it. I didn't want it. I, <laughs> I didn't. So what he did was that he just went ahead and matted these out for me. I think it looks so much better, man. I now. love them this way. I love yeah, them I this it, way. It, it, I think it looks so good. Yeah. Uh, I wear these, you know, usually like in the fall months, close to like, you know, Thanksgiving and uh, uh, Halloween oh, and everything like that, man. So, yeah. Love this shoe. We're gonna jump into <laughs> some more hype Jordan, Air Jordan ones. I remember I want to just pull this out and just kind of let everyone know how crazy it is now that the big sizes man. are now the money size. So these right here, man, the Air Jordan One Rookie of the Years. This was the very first shoe in 2018 that I ever in my life camped out for. Um, so this this holds a very special place in my heart. The quality on this thing is amazing. The suede is soft. The leather is tumbled. Um, I actually don't even mind that leather tag up here, man. It's 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 not, not really like <laughs> it's not that bad, man. The 
rookie of the years definitely definitely dope and especially that message behind the wings man you can't forget the small details i love a story behind the shoe and especially when the shoe is good quality you just can't go wrong we gotta go with the freaking one of the hyped up craziest <laughs> releases everybody's of problem, last year's man. big problem but I, I love them i think these were the trophy rooms before trophy rooms were trophy <laughs> rooms because nobody if, uh, some people got them some people didn't um the suede on the air jordan one mochas is phenomenal you can see those brush stroke motions like it's just phenomenal i really wish that the leather was more tumbled instead of this flat uh but a very very good looking shoe a poor man's travis scott which is perfect because i'm a poor man um <laughs> <laughs> shout out to sneaker jacks for giving me the phenomenal deal because this was the very first shoe that I took L's on in a while. This is like the beginning of my L train. So shout out to Sneaker Jacks, man. I appreciate the price that you gave me on these shoes. That was uh, yeah. Sneaker Jacks, man. Definitely. It's cool. We gotta talk about PEs. Yes, sir. I, know. I mean, that's like, I think it's a fire shoe. It's really close to the PEs, man. Very, very close. It's pretty close, except for the Jordan. Yeah, so the UNC3, only these UNC's don't have the collegiate emblem on the tongue. They got uh, Jordan with uh, with the thick booty. <laughs> this shoe, I was blessed to go ahead and hit this on sneakers app. This shoe caught a lot of people off guard because it was more limited than what people thought they would be. Um, but man, phenomenal I shoe. I love having it in my collection. I've worn it a couple times. It's just clean. It's just a very clean shoe. I can't wear it all the time. Too much white, but yeah, uh, so clean. yeah love the threes. Uh, speaking of PEs, kind of go with, I know these came out early this year, Yeah. but still, it's still a clean shoe. I, I like these quite a bit too as well. Very, very UNC, clean. Can't go wrong with that UNC colorway. Just, it's always a banger. Every all time right. they put UNC no what. on a Jordan, it's just going to sell out. It's going to do numbers. Um, the Air Jordan 4 UNCs, Everybody's looking for these shoes. If they don't have them, they're still looking for them. If they have one, they're probably looking for their double up. I was um, doing the Dick Sporting Good uh, restock this morning. What restock? <laughs> no one got it. <laughs> <Bye>. <laughs> Talk about some. Let's skip over. Uh, we got toe pages. I see. Mm -hmm. uh, just fire with force. I, Clean, clean classic color. Oh yeah, right? definitely, man. I was uh, happy to hit these on the uh, shock drop. Oh, you got a shock drop line. Yeah, there was a shock drop on these. Oh, um, I, I wouldn't know I didn't get a W. <laughs> I was definitely happy to hit these on that shock drop. And it's, like you said, man, a very clean colorway. OG colorway. Um, I see these around everywhere. Like, even at the malls in Chicago, yeah. bro. Like, these are everybody wears them. So these I'm probably not gonna wear for a little while. I know um, y'all would just probably hold off, but it's still a clean, clean shoe. And I'm seeing these on TikTok too. Oh yeah, 100%. Another OG colorway I'm seeing, I like it. And it's the Bread 4s, this is probably made famous or went up after that Last Dance. 100%, yeah. The Last Dance made a couple shoes go yeah, up wait. in resale. Like for real, Stupid. um, man, shout out to the last dance documentary. That was that was a fun time <laughs> that watching that time. with you right, guys right. for real. Yeah, this shoe right here, I believe this shoe was actually my very first shock drop W. Uh, oh, believe another, in, yeah, another shock drop. Yeah, this was in 2018. <laughs> I think it was. Okay, so 2019 is my very first shock drop W. Just a really clean shoe. I think I'm seeing this one. It's probably the the big hype. Yeah. In your collection. This yes. Is, I would call that. This is the the biggest hype shoe you have in the collection the union, union fours, fours man. Uh, which i was which i dig now i know a lot of people were hating on these at first i'm but. still iffy on it to be honest man really? i'm still iffy if i actually like them the only reason i'm keeping them is because i was able to hit these on the union website for retail you might um, as well keep them. yeah it was it was a very very like dope just I didn't believe that I hit them. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. But I wasn't gonna believe that I hit them until they got to my doorstep and I opened the box and, and they the color were in was there. orange, right? Right. Something, man. Like, but this, in my opinion, this is like the cleanest colorway that they've come out. Even with the brand new ones, with the grays, the the yeah, topaz, the desert moss, the guavas. These are the best color, in my opinion. Um, but if I do keep them, I'm definitely gonna cut that tongue. Uh, I'll probably cut out this uh, this part in the wing because I don't think that that's supposed to be there. I'll probably no. maybe change out the laces. I'm not 100% sure. The Air Jordan 4 off Noirs. Uh, it's a pretty decent shoe. We'll oh. just see what it does. I think these are starting to creep up in value yeah. as well. I think your size too. Probably, yeah. It's probably a $900 shoe. 
Yeah, they out of here. I'm <laughs> so, um, let's go fives. You, you got done with the fours. You yeah. have metallic. I actually have pairs. I actually wear mine quite a bit too as well. Man, I love this shoe, man. I wear it as Jeez. much as I can yeah, without wear over wearing them. Uh, but the metallic fives, as you can see, that cage is yellowing a little bit. Uh, I was able to clean some of that yellow off of the bottom. But again, just a very clean shoe, especially with the Nike Air on the back. You can't go wrong with the Metallic Fives, man. I love this. Probably my favorite five in my collection. Fives, I see. We got Raging Bulls that came out earlier this year. Yep. Go for another five. Freaking, I like these two as well. The yeah, fire, so these are clean. Fives. Where's the laces? So I was doing something. <laughs> <laughs> They came with white laces. I, for some reason, it screamed at me to put black laces in them. That's the, my other, I'm, 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 in the, on it. I'm in the middle of something, Chris. <laughs> I really, really wanted to put black laces in them. I don't know why, I think it just screamed, you know, it needs more color. The white on white just wasn't really rocking with me too, too much, but I know some people really like white laces. Mm. You would have kept white laces? I would have kept white laces, I yeah. think so. I like to keep mine a little bit more like original OGs. Right. I mean, are these things still bricks? Like, are they technically? You know what, I haven't even looked at the resale value right, right. on these things, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I know that they, you know, weren't worth a lot, and I know that they restocked a thousand times <laughs> yeah. over, so. It was right in the middle of the lockdown, too. Like, Definitely. Literally. Yeah, but even during the lockdown, anybody could have had them. Yeah, yeah Karma 6s came out early this year, yeah. and might as well bust these out, too, as well. Got Carmine's. Yep. And gay race sixes. Yep. So I was very, very happy to see these re-release. These. My favorite sixes, by the way. Oh yeah. Probably mine as well. I don't know. It's a toss-up between these and the infrareds. Mm, okay. Okay. The Gatorade came with the Towie. Yeah. So the, the Gatorade sixes I was able to pick up from the Nike outlet in Chicago, and uh, while the Gatorade sixes were at the Nike outlet, they also had the Gatorade Jordan ones, <laughs> and the towel was actually in the box with the Jordan ones. So I said. <laughs> yeah, put it in the box Did, with the six. Now I have these both in hand. The quality on the Gatorades are better. It's bro, the Gatorades are nice. Are better. Yeah. Look at this, the tumbled. Yeah, the quality is way better yeah. than on these. But I still like Carmine's. It's a Carmine. I mean, you can't go wrong with Carmine. There's a story behind this one. I like these two. These are infrared sixes. Yep. I do like this. And if you guys didn't know, I did have the 2000. I want to say 15, 16 when it was like mad pink. Yeah, when it's uh, salmon. It was pink. <laughs> salmon, salmon, the whatever. Jordan in the back, it was, came out Black Friday. They had a bazillion, jillion pairs. Yeah. And then when I found out these were coming out with the Varsity Red, I those were gone. Yeah. Wait, so these are fire. I wasn't collecting back when they had those, when they had the <laughs> Infra Pink uh, Sixes. It was, the infra, it was definitely <laughs> pink. It was very pink. The 3M hits on the inside mm -hmm. of the shoe. Love when that pops out. Uh, I actually un these today when me and Chris were running around when I, uh, you guys, if you haven't seen that video yet, uh, <laughs> shoe shopping with Chris, right. you know, check that out. I un these today, so, yeah. No, yeah. no sevens, we have no sevens. No sevens, uh, sevens really just ain't my thing. No uh, eights. No eights, the, the straps on the eights, you know, the, the, the Wakandas, <laughs> the, the, the way Wakandas. they were <laughs> Some eights, I, I need to get some eights in my collection, sevens. Oh, um, maybe some Bordeaux sevens. I have Bordeaux. Maybe some Bordeaux sevens. Uh, but we have nines though. We got some nines, bro. Nines. We got some nines. So I got the uh, university nines, university gold nines right here, and, and we have the UNC These are actually nines. pretty clean. I love these. I love these. These I think are more so like these give me like Batman vibes. <laughs> like, yeah. like I could definitely see the Dark Knight coming out and busting your ass and hoping <laughs> <laughs> wearing these right here. Uh, but the UNC nines are definitely my favorite out of the two. Uh, I actually had to pay resale on these, man. They, um, they, I took some L's on this as well, which was shocking. It's crazy. Um, but uh, I love the the sparkle pattern on the bottom. It's just that UNC popping off of that white. Very dope shoe. Still clean. Yeah. Pretty clean. We have a ten. Does anyone care about tens? Nobody cares uh, about tens. No, I have some tens, but definitely my actual favorite shoe. Is the Concord? Yes, uh, sir. My favorite, con my favorite Jordans are Concord actually. Concord Eleven. Yeah, because I, I have the two thousands, uh, the old nines. I have my like, DMP Elevens are. Oh, you got all rails. of them. Okay. Yeah. I remember back in Christmas twenty nineteen, right? Was it nineteen? 
It was 18. 18. 18. Christmas of 2018, 1 million pairs in circulation, and they were going like that. <laughs> they were out of there, man. Uh, I believe I actually hit this pair on a Jordan Reserve, though, uh, from the sneakers app. I think they, the Jordan Reserve came out and I know they had so there. many pairs. I think Chicago, you guys even had an event to get these things early. Too, yeah, exactly, so. bro. But uh, never sleep on 11s, especially in OG colorways. OG colorways, especially Concords is always crazy. I remember back in the mall, 2000, not, was it 9 or 11? I forgot. I think it was 09 when uh, yeah, people were fighting over those. fighting at the mall. Yeah. And then same thing, I got stories about Ray 11. That was a cl another classic yeah. and clean, you know, iconic Air Jordan 11. Yeah, bro, this shoe is just so beautiful. It speaks yeah. for itself. You I can't really it. even really talk about this too, too much. You just let the shoe speak for itself. Yeah. Um, but yeah, man, all Jordan. There was 2 million pairs of these in 2019. <laughs> yeah. And they still went like yeah, that. They still, they still were crazy. <laughs> uh, people were taking L's, and that's crazy, man. Like, on release day, people were selling for 300. Easy. Yeah. Do we need to talk about the lows? I uh, mean, we're... You're gonna get the you're gonna get the the ones come out later this year. Of course, I'm yeah. getting the one. I'm getting the cool grays that come cool out later, and then these are probably going to the donation <laughs> bin. <laughs> and I actually never I never had these. Really, the PSN no. wise? No. All right, so the and I like I like twelves, like but I just never really. Yeah. So these this these is are actually clean, this is actually a cool story. Public School New York uh, was the collaboration with Jordan Brand with this. They came out with four colorways it was the gray it was the green it was the bordeaux and the wheat i remember the wheat now yeah the wheat was like a new york exclusive okay. and then the others were like other territories uh this pair right here i believe retail on these things was 300 dollars. was it really i think it was 300 dollars for retail i was able to get these for under retail brand new off of goat for 200 dollars because he had no box hmm. so no box took a hundred dollars off Brand new, I'll take it. Yeah. Any day of the week. Okay, no, okay. At first, from in the box, I thought these were gonna be the playoffs, but it's still yeah. pretty clean. No, nah, those are the Chinese, Chinese New Year's. Chinese New Year. Yeah, so you can <laughs> uh, cut off this uh, black portion to reveal more of the flags. Uh, I will never do that. <laughs> uh, I just like the shoe, man. I think it was really good. And I think I had this early as well. I was able to get this off of StockX early uh, for under retail, surprisingly. So I noticed then that you have a lot of 13s. Is 13s your favorite silhouette? 13s is my number one favorite silhouette. Bro. Mine too. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like, <laughs> did we just become best friends? <laughs> I remember the Mellow 13s, these Man. actually got recalled or they didn't sell the men's sizes. They either. canceled them. Yeah, they canceled them. Yeah. And they had to ship it back to Nike. Yeah. And, and they couldn't do anything with them. They, the reason they did all that was because uh, the yellow was turning red because of the dye that's somewhere in the shoe. Um, my pair really doesn't red like that. You can see it a little bit here on the back, but uh, yeah, these things, they were set to release, then they got recalled, and then all of a sudden they showed up at Nike outlets for $100. And people were buying them up and reselling them for 300. Easy. Easy. Yeah. First thing is your, is your favorite, that's dope. My favorite. Um, we have, what are these, Game Royals? Yes, Hyper Royals. Hyper Royals. Yep. We got Game Royals 2, I believe. I'm not sure. Is this called Game Royals? So this is like the cherry. I don't. I call color. them the home and away colorway yeah. of the Hyper <laughs> yeah, Royals because it's pretty much the same exact shoe, just different. And uh, these blues are pretty much the same as well. Hmm. Yeah. So it's actually. Let me go ahead and put those up. This is actually probably. One of my favorite colorway 13s. Oh, that right there, there, bro. That's my. I actually still have my 05. In the 2010, I, um, it didn't come with 3M. Yeah. I think back then, Jordan Brown were being like mad cheap. Yeah. Or something. Yeah, bro. I don't know why they didn't put 3M in. It didn't make sense. This shoe right here, man. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys already know. Yeah, you see, you found my yeah, second pair. Second pair. <laughs> <laughs> this shoe is my favorite shoe of all time, man. It's very near and dear. Very very heavily weighted in sentimental value to me um just the flint 13 is my all-time favorite shoe man What's so the much i mean bro like i was uh young and uh my barber uh was cutting my hair and i looked down and i saw that he had these on his feet mm. i told him i was like yo i want those he was like oh these sold out <laughs> <laughs> you're not getting these and uh yeah my, i told my dad he was like i can't get them you know just wasn't in the cards 
And uh, yeah, bro, uh, the 2010 release that you're talking about, yeah. I was in, I was that was my first year in college. So oh, I couldn't afford shoes at that point. So I took it L then. And yeah, when they re-released these, I was all over them, man. So mm -hmm. I am just happy. Just looking at these things puts a smile on my face. Uh, I had I had a triple up, but I went ahead and let it go. I'm like, <laughs> I don't need three pairs of the same shoe. Yeah, it still cleans, clean. Yeah. It's clean. Speaking of cinnamon value, I remember growing up, I was I bought Jordans, and I want to pull these out. These yeah. Are, God, they're so tall. <laughs> at games, and I remember in sixth grade, this is when I learned about haters. Shout out to YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> um, I remember I was I was one of the first ones. Actually, I was the first one to have. The black, they call it the, back then it was like in sixth grade, it was the new Jordans. Mm -hmm. and I was one of the first ones to have them. And all the kids in my class were like, those are ugly, because everyone was still wow. wearing 12s. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I went home crying and took them off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, the He Got Games is a very classic shoe. Unfortunately, bro, like, I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't like the movie. I thought the movie was kind of trash. I, I don't think I even watched that. Ever. Really? No. Bro, the movie was kind of trash to me, man. You might kill me. Jesus. Was shows worth. Shows worth. Yeah, y'all might kill me in the comment section, man. But that movie was that movie was kind of weak, man. To be <laughs> honest. But uh, yeah, man, these iconic shoe, very dope colorway. Uh, very happy to have these in my collection. I think the only thirteen that I'm really, really missing that I really want is the playoffs. I don't have the playoff thirteens. Playoffs. What about the bread thirteens? I don't have those either. They haven't came out with the playoff thirteens in like almost eleven years, I want to say. So you know what that means. We're about to get it soon. Hopefully. You heard Hopefully. it here first. Some things to point out. Maybe I'll just bust these out real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got some 14s, actually. Yep. We got some Dornbeckers. Love these, man. Love these. These are loud. Shout out to my guy, Ethan Shoot. Ellis. I bought him. I thought <laughs> he reached out and he was like, yo, I'm glad you like my shoe. I thought I was getting catfish. I'm like, really? that's not the Ethan Ellis. <laughs> yeah. You're not that's the crazy. guy that made these. Yeah, no, it was super dope, man. He's a really, really nice kid. Uh, uh, so. You know, uh, if you guys know the backstory, if you don't, go ahead and read up on it. Ethan has had a tough life, you know what I'm saying, so far. But uh, I'm happy to say now, I think he's doing all right. He's up there in Canada. Uh, shout out to you, bro, if you're watching this, man, uh, for real. Awesome job on this shoe. In my opinion, one of the best. The best Dornbeckers to ever be created. There's just Pretty so clean. many different details in the shoe. It is clean. We're all the way down to the permanent raindrops down here. Like, come on, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he did a good job on these. What do you think, This, if you had to get one shoe in your collection, what's your favorite one? My favorite one? Yeah. It's got to be my Flint 13s, man. Flint 13s. If the house is burning down, <laughs> yeah, I'm right. grabbing this pair. House <laughs> burning down, we got these. I'm leaving. I'm good. If the house is burning down, I'm definitely grabbing these. These are my babies. Love the Flint 13s. I fail on that one. Second favorite probably be the Red 11s. Red 11s. Red 11s probably my second favorite. Shoe. And what do you? What is your most expensive shoe here? You think? Most expensive shoe in my collection. We, oh, we, can we, we can't show these on here. Yeah, we can. Most expensive shoe in my collection is a shoe that might not be in my collection for too long. <laughs> <laughs> this is crazy. So this right here, guys, if you haven't seen this, this is the Air Jordan 1 New Beginnings Pack. We got the 1984 Airship and the, 1980, the 1985 Air Jordan 1. I'm actually excited to see these. <laughs> Man, I never really get to see these things. Like really? That. This would be the 84, most expensive. 85. Yes. So, so the 84 history. was the blueprint. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's why it's written this way. Okay. And so did Jordan ever wore these? I believe he did. Yeah, this was the Air Jordan 1 before there was an Air Jordan 1. The airships. This, on this side, so as you guys saw before, oh, actually, I don't even think we showed these. We skipped over oh, these. Yeah, we, skipped over these. we got the Air Jordan uh, 1 <laughs> reverse breads in this colorway right here with the Air Jordan 1 bloodline laces in there. Can't go wrong with it. We also have the home version Jeez. of the Air Jordan 185. Believe these uh what would you even call these, man? I don't even know what they're called. They're just, they're I think they're just called new beginnings. Yeah. Oh, so the leather quality on these are exactly the same as these. Exactly the same. Okay, so these are the 85. These are this is actually a really clean colorway. Yeah. Exactly I think these the things would have do crazy numbers if they just didn't do a pack. They just came out of itself like this. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So these uh, com combined with the airships. This is my most expensive shoe in my collection. Uh, $350 was the pack. 
uh, I was actually able to get these for retail. Y'all comment down below if you know what was going on when I got these. I'm gonna let y'all, only the OGs, only the real followers know exactly <laughs> how I obtained these shoes. Uh, very funny story. Like I'm so glad that they went with this instead of like this. Can you imagine? Oh yeah, this is this is so ugly to me. I know, this is so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> So anyways, that is it for Keep Pushing Kicks His Sneaker Collection. Yeah, man. This is actually pretty dope, man. Thank you for having me, man. I appreciate you coming through, bro. Um, so yeah, man, that is the collection. You guys seen bits and pieces. Uh, it wasn't a full entire collection, but I would say that I have about maybe 60 pairs in this uh, room uh, alone. I have some pairs in the closet, uh, but those are just, you know, some other things that don't really matter too, too much. Uh, you guys... <laughs> Let me know in the comment section down below, how do you guys feel about the collection? Uh, do you guys have the same heat that I have? Do I have some grails of yours? Talk to me down in the comment section down below, man. Once again, thank you, Chris, for coming it's through. Good. Thank you for inviting me, bro. I appreciate you, bro. Appreciate you. Dope collection? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's solid. It's Got a the solid seal collection. of approval from my man, Chris, man. So, solid. Hey, <laughs> like I always say, man, it's been your boy, KPK. Always take care of yourself first. Then you can take care of each other. And no matter what you're going through, he don't watch keep my pushing. Always keep pushing, kicks. I didn't know you're throwing at me. He, he don't watch my. I do. Y'all keep pushing. <laughs> yeah, keep pushing, kicks. That's what I just said. <laughs>